must be this one. Hey guys, do you think I should go front on these people when they stare at us? With my middle finger? <laughs> oh, here we go. Do what I dare you. I called it my crazy pal because I didn't want to get in trouble for making something up. Um, this is the story of when someone tried to kill me when I was training in the army. Yay! My crazy pal. My battle buddy went off his nut. After dinner, when we were lining up in our platoons, Drill Sergeant Duncan comes over and starts talking to us, third platoon, about the confidence tower. Then, his name is Lejeune, but I call him Linguini, because he went crazy and absolutely nuts. Oh. Then, Linguini just randomly raises his arm and points to some payphone and says, look at that telephone. We all, come back. Uh, we all burst into laughter at this random statement. Drill Sergeant Duncan points to an ice cooler and says, See that ice cooler? And in an almost sensual voice, Ling Linguini says, I see you. So Drill Sergeant Duncan takes a step to his right, says, Do you see it now? I don't remember what Linguini said, but Drill Sergeant Duncan sent us upstairs to do diamond washer drills with our M4s. You put a dime on the barrel and you shoot the M4 and if the dime falls then you're terrible at shooting. And to play with a new simulator thing. As we get, as we got upstairs, Linguini just throws his rifle on the ground and throws his hands in the air at the come at me bro slash what did I do kind of ways. Then he starts walking into a drill sergeant's kill zone, a zone you never enter, and raises his hands again. We are all yelling at him to get out of the kill zone and toe the line. You put your toes on the edge of the kill zone. Oh. Thank you. We know the drill sergeants you, are coming soon, so we toe the line. We like to have small chats as we do it, so people start to talk about combatives. That's our uh, martial arts training in the army. Training as we tow, as we tow. And Linguini pushes me randomly forcing me to bump into Cruel, some dude with a Boston accent, and it's awesome. Theo, another guy I know, notices and got pretty angry. I looked at Linguini and he just gave me a blank stare. I could tell that he was trying to provoke a fight and get discharged ever since day zero, or ever since day zero of basic combat training. He has been trying to find a way out. Theo starts telling him to knock it off. Theo told me later that earlier that Linguini pushed him too. So Linguini walks away, which you never do when you toe the line. Then Linguini walks around the desk next to the kill zone and goes to the not even right there. Goes to the other side of the kill zone and stands next to Mills. Another guy I know. Then Linguini starts eyeing the scissors, eyeing some a pair of scissors on the desk. People start to tell him to come over to, 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 to the line and tow it. So he walks over and tows the line. Then he starts to do a weird forward back motion that almost looks like him doing the worm while standing. That's really weird. <laughs> Everyone ignores him and continues to talk about combatives. Then suddenly Linguini starts talking loudly, giving an autobiography mainly about his life and growing up with his father. He also says his last name is pronounced Lejeune. And I drew a picture of him crying next to Mills. Can you see that? Oh my god. <laughs> What's fucking wrong with that guy? He's so French, he's like weenie, but he fits here. Theo goes into his locker, pulls out a New Testament book, and pulls out a Saint and pulls out a Saint Michael's prayer and hands it to Linguini. Here, I hope this helps, Theo softly said. A little bit later, after Theo toes the line, Linguini starts screaming for his father. Father! Father St. Michael! <laughs> um, like everyone weird. begins trying to console him. He tries to walk into the drill site in the office a few times, which you never do, but everyone's trying to hold him back. Eventually, he relentlessly tries to enter the drill sergeant office while everyone tries to hold him back. And then I drew everyone trying to kind of like hold him back. Well, uh, it's actually uh, Mills consoling him or whatever. <laughs> this is really strange. Dude, Jordan the military is <laughs> It is really weird. <laughs> it is. This is some it fucking weird like a people. Fun time. It, was, yeah, it was pretty fun. Good thing I'm going to the Marines. <laughs> Everyone starts asking why he is acting so different. Linguini says that he wants his father. 
Everyone then asks why he was trying to enter the drill sergeant office. Linguini says he is going to see his father. Everyone then tries to tell him his father is not in the drill sergeant office. After much confusing conversation, Linguini comes to the idea that Drill Sergeant Richardson is his father. <laughs> Everyone tries to tell him that Drill Sergeant Richardson is not Linguini's father. Then out of nowhere, Linguini proceeds to scream, Father! Father St. Michael! And many other things of nonsense. Someone trying to console him tells the Drill Sergeant that 3rd Platoon Bay of is... Oh, wait. Yeah. Someone... Whatever. The 3rd Platoon Bay is in a very brief moment of pandemonium. But 3rd Platoon got their act together, except for Linguini. After that, <laughs> after what seems like an agonizing eternity, after a few minutes, a drill sergeant comes in and tells everyone to go downstairs. Everyone begins to creep their way to the door and go downstairs to the company's training area, CTA. Everyone lines up in order and decides to sit down because they're sure that it's going to be a long wait. Someone that was hurt in training in a previous cycle of training decides to try and talk to us and get their minds off of the situation at hand. But they can't help but wa but what but gawk as four bending police just drive into the parking lot and begin to walk up the stairs to third platoon. Meanwhile in the bay, an injured soldier who can barely walk tries to calm Linguini down. Michelin Man is his nickname. His name is Mifflin. Linguini pushes Mif Michelin Man into Cruel and Klaylos' bunk, further injuring Michelin Man. By this time, everyone is thrown, everything is thrown back into pandemonium. The series of events may not be in order because of how fast and how much happened. Drill sergeants from all platoons have already been with Linguini for at least a few minutes now. After seeing Linguini physically hurt someone, the drill sergeants make their move. Linguini sees them making their move toward him. So he tries to take a drill sergeant down with him. Linguini oh lunges God. forward, trying to pound, but Linguini was too slow. The drill sergeants were on him faster than 1st Platoon getting caught with contraband. They had all sorts of contraband. They had like dip and like condoms and stuff. <laughs> wow. Why do they have a condom? Police and the military police are on the scene. The okay. drill sergeants are holding him down as a rather <laughs> plump officer handcuffs him. But Linguini is still struggling. To the military police officer, so the military police officer tries to stop him pulling out her taser and commanding him to stop, which I later learned that she actually did tase him. Uh, Linguini spots the taser at the corner of his eye and goes limp. I actually didn't know that he got tased, so. He is commanded to get up and he does. He is escorted downstairs, but as he is going down the last flight of stairs, he decides to put on a show for us. Linguini makes his body go limp one last time. He is half dragged and half carried down the last steps of Was stairs. Was he again? No. Screaming and hollering, the platoon watches and performs an about face, which he just like turn around. They listen to Linguini's last cries about Saint Michael and how everyone is going to die, and throw into and thrown into a police car, and urinates himself. Finally taken fifty. Finally taken away. So the moral of the story is. That St. Michael is cursed third platoon and we're all gonna die. And I had to clean his urinated clothes. And then I got in trouble for get, forgetting it was in the wash. That's my story. I wanna go to the army.